Hello, welcome to GRAP 1610, Principles of Web Media. In this class, we will learn the basics of the two languages that we use to create awesome web pages. That would be HTML and CSS. Or more specifically, that would be HTML5 and CSS3. In this video, I want to highlight a couple of things to help you get started with our first week. Let's start with announcements, which you can get to by going to Blackboard, logging in, going to our class page, and then clicking on announcements. In this announcement from Sunday, August 12th, I pointed out five things to help you get started. Let's take a look at the first one here. Let's jump around. Enrolling your, or not enrolling, uh, validating your enrollment. Make sure that you validate your enrollment by Tuesday, August 14th at noon. If you fail to do so or forget to do so, you may get dropped from the class on Thursday unless you take steps to keep yourself from getting dropped. So make sure you take care of that first. Next, we do have a required book for this class. You can buy it or you can access it online via the library as an electronic book by clicking on this link right here. And then as far as what you need, to complete our assignments and projects for this class, go to start here and then look under computer and software requirements. We're going to need some kind of text editor, some kind of photo editing software like Photoshop, an FTP client like FileZilla or its equivalent, maybe Fetch if you have that, and then also Adobe Acrobat Reader since I provide a lot of PDFs for you to read. Now, as an additional resource, you may also consider using the computer labs at Grinstead 103 and Grinstead 117. Under Start Here, you will find the course syllabus. I encourage you to read that from the first page to the last page because, well, you have a quiz over this material to ensure that you understand how this class is structured. And then go through the rest of whatever I have here under start here because, well, you know, this is where you start, right? Okay, and then when you're ready, go to modules and then module one. And here you will find a roadmap of everything that you need to accomplish for this particular module. Now the dates can get a little tricky or messy or you know there could be a lot to juggle in this class. So I encourage you to keep some kind of calendar. And speaking of calendars, I do have a calendar link that if you click on it, it will show you at a glance what we have going on in class. So for the first week, there's that enrollment validation that I just mentioned. That's due by noon on Tuesday, August 14th. And then your first assignment is actually due this Friday by 11.59 p.m. And then everything else is due by this Sunday. Okay, let me go back to module one. Here's the roadmap of what we have going on. So here's a survey that I asked you to complete so that I know a little more about you. There's also your readings for the week, introduction in chapter one from the book, and then module one materials, including the videos under module one course materials. Then there's that syllabus and Blackboard quiz that I talked about, uh, lab 1A, which is about installing FileZilla some type of, or some type of FTP client or having access to one. And then there's Lab 1B, which is you creating your first web page, 
at least maybe for this class. And then there's discussion one related to lab 1B. And then there's the website project. I went ahead and put that information on here, even though it's not due until the end of the semester or close to the end of the semester, Sunday, December 2nd. This website project is all about you developing your very own website. Now, by the end of the semester, regardless of your experience with HTML and CSS and building web pages, I'm confident just that just like the peers before you, that you will be able to create awesome web pages. And I uploaded three student examples from the past, and I might add some more throughout the semester so you can see that. So here is example one right here. This student created all the code behind this website. Check that out, right? Here's another example. And then here's another one. So I chose these examples because these students specifically told me at the beginning of the semester via this survey that out of a like scale of one to five, or I can't remember right now, uh, they put like minus 1000 or minus 10 or zero for their experience when it comes to web pages. And you know, look at the kind of stuff that they can accomplish after 16 weeks. Uh, I do want to point out one thing about these web pages that we will be creating for this class though. So at this point in time, you are probably used to web pages like the UCM website to where if you resize it, things will move around and adjust so that it will always display in the best possible way. And theoretically, let me go back to the small size. This is what it should look like when you're looking at it on your mobile device, like a smartphone. Well, these student examples that I showed you, they're not gonna do that. I did say at the beginning of this video that we're all about learning the basics and you have enough to learn without having to worry about how to make this thing responsive to different screen sizes, right? I save that for my more advanced web classes. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to talk about. If I forget anything or if you have any questions, uh, please email me. Um, if I think of anything else, I might post more videos throughout the week. So that brings me back to the announcement, one more portion of that. Make it a habit to check Blackboard and your UCM student email to ensure you don't miss out on important information from me, your department, your college, or the university. A good rule of thumb would be like to do it, to uh, check your Blackboard and email at least three times a week. I mean, really, you should, you should probably even check it every day, right? So, but anyway, I will let you get started on week one stuff. Happy coding.